It's a multi-million dollar vision which some have laughed off. But that hasn't stopped Walter Mzembe from dreaming. You can call it what you want. You can call it an eco Disneyland, as uh, the media is suggesting. You can call it an ultra city. You can call it uh, whatever name you give to it. Uh, but the bottom line really is we want to modernize that section of the Victoria Falls that is not governed by the World Heritage uh, by bylaws. Uh, we want to make sure that the old Victorian setting as it currently exists today will coexist in the future with an ultra-modern Victoria Falls. And that means setting up amusement parks, casinos, and specially themed zones to target visitors from different parts of the world. The idea has already won over potential finances. From what I'm seeing now, there's huge international interest. What we now need to do is to complete the conceptualization of the project in the manner that I'm saying now that we must align it to other products internationally before we can now issue an international invitation for an expression of interest. Current estimates put the cost of the 300 hectare development at $460 million, a massive investment that will pay off when the millions who visit this crown jewel of Zimbabwe's tourism industry spend more money here. We want to be able to say they can stay beyond 24 hours. Now they fly in through South Africa, they do a day plus one, and off they go because there's nothing else to capture their imagination for the rest of the week. So we want to introduce this diversity of products. And this is not the only big news in town. A $150 million upgrade of the Victoria Falls Airport is near completion and has aviation industry players excited. We can increase our frequency into the Victoria Falls because the capacity to take more people is now there. The runway is bigger, we can open the airport for longer because now that we have runway lights and we can do night flights into Vic Falls. While the international tourist seems to be the main target, locals will get in on the action too. Well, amusement parks like these have fallen silent, but very soon ordinary Zimbabweans will be able to experience bigger, faster and even better rides than those that they have become accustomed to. Farai Mwakutuya, CCTV, Harare, Zimbabwe.